guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a massive baby haul. This might be my very last baby haul before she is actually born because I think we're just about done with everything that we need to buy. So that's kind of scary. Um, I'm currently 32 weeks pregnant, so we have about two more months until our little baby girl is going to be here. So this is kind of the last little bunch of items. Um, we've done some shopping. We also have some Christmas presents here. And then I do have a few little hand-me-down items as well as some postpartum stuff to talk about. So I have several other baby hauls here on my channel, including my baby shower haul, which has the majority of baby items that you would need as a first-time mom. So I will go ahead and link that up in a card, and then I will go ahead and link all of my other hauls and everything down below as well if you guys want to go check those out. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will, like I said, link all of my baby videos down below, including my pregnancy updates, all that kind of stuff. So if you are a mommy or a mommy to be, definitely go check out all my other mommy related videos and let's just go ahead and get into this. I'm like surrounded by stuff. I have no idea where to start. So let's jump in. I think I'm going to talk about this first because it's massive. This is from the brand The Cuddle You. I'm gonna take this out of the plastic so it's not annoying. This is from the brand The Cuddle You, and this is a nursing pillow that can grow with your baby, is the whole idea of it. So it can also turn into like a little seat. It's got like a three-way little seat here. I got this as a Christmas present and I actually almost bought a boppy pillow like a week before Christmas, so I'm really glad that I waited. Um, but this is what it looks like. Just your average like U-shaped nursing pillow. It does have this little pocket here underneath that has the little like seat belt part that you can wrap around them. So this is going to be super handy and I like that it has the cover with the velcro straps and stuff so they can use this as like a little lounger pillow. I thought that was really cool. For some postpartum items, for Christmas I got some breast nursing pads in with the rest of the baby things I got. So these are going to come in handy. <laughs> and then I also went ahead and bought a couple of super flattering and sexy nightgowns. These are just massive like XXL sized nightgowns. I got both of these from Kmart. Our store is closing and so they had a ton of stuff on really good clearance. So this is from the brand Basic Editions and it is just a blue with lavender flowers. It um, snaps down the front so it'll be really nice and convenient for nursing and then this other one I got zips all the way down the front it is a lovely light blue color and again from basic editions and it's just a super cute grandma nighty so that's fun um, but they're actually really soft and really comfortable and it's gonna be nice to have pajamas that I don't really care too much about at the hospital so that if they get like gross and whatever I don't have to worry about it so I decided to go ahead and pick up a bottle warmer this had really really good reviews on Target and I got it on clearance for super cheap I think this was only like 15 bucks it's from the brand the first years this is what it looks like and here is what the actual machine looks like so it's just super super simple and basic we'll pour the water in turn it on it steams the bottle for two minutes or however long depending on the size of bottle you have and then it, it's warm <laughs> bottle warmer that's what it does imagine that so this is going to be really awesome to have next to our bed we have a two-story house so our bedroom is upstairs and the kitchen is downstairs and I just did not want to run downstairs a million times during the night to warm up a bottle so I decided to go ahead and get one of these. For Christmas we got this little baby memory book from my brother-in-law and his wife and this is super super cute. It's very girly. It's got like a very vintage feel to it. These pages are like absolutely beautiful and I'm super excited to go ahead and fill this out. A lot of it is 
from birth to one year. There's only a couple things in here for like baby shower and about my family, that kind of stuff that I can fill out ahead of time. Most of it's going to have to wait until she's born, but I'm really excited to get into this and it's so beautiful. For Christmas, my big present this year was the Jujube BFF diaper bag. I really, really wanted this and I was so surprised that I got it because these are not cheap. My mother-in-law spoiled the crap out of me and got me this. So this is the East Hampton print, which is no longer on their website. I believe she found it on Amazon. The inside of this bag is probably the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. The inside is pink corally colored with flamingos. It is so stinking cute. I am really excited to load this guy up. I'm in love. It's so beautiful. It's such good quality. And I am planning on doing a whole review of the bag itself, as well as a what's in my diaper bag once I have it all loaded and we've been using it for a little while. So those videos are coming, so make sure you're subscribed. Also along the lines of Christmas, Toys R Us had all of their Christmas books 50% off, so I went ahead and picked this up because next Christmas I am going to have a 10 month old, so she will definitely be old enough to be able to read stories with. This is Disney's Countdown to Christmas. There are 25 stories, or maybe 24 stories in here. A story a day up until Christmas. And I ended up getting this for only five bucks from Toys R Us. So I am really excited to read this to her next year. And we really don't have too many books for her. We were, we were planning on doing like a bring a book instead of a card thing for the baby shower. But we decided to do bring diapers instead of a card. So we really don't have very many books for her. So I've started looking for some books because I definitely want to do story time before bed. So... These are all going to be in such a random order here for Christmas. Along with the diaper bag, I got some bottles. These are just adorable little Minnie Mouse bottles. I can kind of show you on the side there. They're so cute. We're huge, huge Disney nerds. So this will fit in with everything else perfectly. And I'm always happy to get more bottles. Also, along with the diaper bag for Christmas, we got some of these Mam Binkies. And I don't know if I'm going to use the Mams or if I'm going to use the Soothies. I'm still kind of trying to decide. I guess it just really depends on whatever she likes. My husband's cousin just had her very last baby. And so she had some toys and miscellaneous items, some maternity clothes, that kind of stuff that she passed on to me. And so I wanted to just quickly go over some of those things. So we got some of these little teething rings and then one of these teething necklaces. She also gave us one of these little car seat canopies slash this could also be a nursing cover but this is so 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 cute and I really like the style of the canopy. My husband doesn't really love this style of car seat cover but I do so when I take her out I'm definitely going to be using this and she's due in February so for the first few months we'll probably use something a little bit heavier but then once it gets into like June and July she's still going to be in the infant seat but it's going to be hot outside so we'll probably use this because it's nice and light weight. She also gave us some bibs. Her baby is a boy so some of this stuff is kind of boyish but that's okay. Bibs are bibs and they're just gonna get food on them anyway so I don't really need super cute pink girly bibs. This little guy was actually one of the toys that I had on my baby registry. I just think it's super cool looking. It's really easy for them to hold on to. It's got a lot of little spots to hold and a little rattle inside. I'm really excited about this. I actually have it sitting out on the shelf because I think it's so cute in her nursery. So I really like that. And then um, we have this other car seat cover here. This is from the brand Hobie Baby, I believe. And this is a gorgeous, soft, florally pattern. And it's just one of the stretchy spandexy kinds. But here is what that looks like. And I really love this. It's gonna be so cute during the spring and early summer, which is right around the time she'll be born. So I'm really excited about 
this. I saw someone here on YouTube talking about these little water mats and it was so intriguing to me that I had to run out and get one. I thought this would be so cool for tummy time and then when she gets a little bit older we can also kind of put this like on her high chair when she's waiting for lunch that kind of thing just to keep her entertained but basically it is just a little mat here and you um fill the outside up with air and you fill the inside up with water and it has these little fishies and stuff that will like float around in the water so she can sit and like kind of poke at them and play with them and stuff and i thought that this was so so cool this is kind of random, but we got another one of these little munchkin diaper bag dispensers. I'm planning on having one in the diaper bag and one in, obviously, like the nursery, our room, wherever we're changing diapers. So I personally like the blue one, even though I'm having a girl. I just think that the blue one is the cutest. So I got another blue one, but um, again, random, but something we needed. This is also kind of random, but we needed another set of crib sheets, and I really like the Cloud Island ones. This is just a nice teal color with little white hearts, and it was actually on clearance. So these are normally 10 bucks, and this was on sale for seven. So I thought that was kind of cool, and their crib sheets are super soft, really, really cute, and very good quality. So I decided to pick up the ones that were on clearance because I needed more anyway. I got some more hair bows because I cannot control myself. So these are from the brand So Adorable. And we got just a teal aqua blue color. And then this cute little flower is white with little sparkle polka dots. And like I said, I just can't control myself. <laughs> They're so stinking cute. So yeah, I'm really excited about these. Pretty much all of her other hair bows and headbands are pink or purple or gray so I thought she needed a blue one right balance it out that was that was my way of justifying it anyway so I went to Toys R Us and got one of these OXO um, baby wipe dispensers and I decided to get this one I knew I wanted a hard case to put baby wipes in I decided to get this one because it's white and gray so it'll match the diaper bag perfectly and also it is the dispenser type so instead of just having a plastic case that I have to open and like pull a wipe off this will just dispense right out so it also has a little strap that you can attach it to the stroller but I think I'm mostly gonna just keep this in the diaper bag I got two things of the Baby Gannix foaming hand sanitizer. I got a small one to go in the diaper bag and I got a big one to go in her nursery. I am very anal about hand sanitizing in general. I work at a doctor's office and so I'm very like germaphobe when it comes to hand sanitizing and I know when I have the baby it's going to be even worse. So I have some spray hand sanitizer from the Honest Company but I also wanted to have some foaming hand sanitizer especially during the first couple weeks of her life when people are coming to visit and coming to the hospital and all that. I want everyone to have clean hands when they are touching my tiny little newborn. So I picked up plenty of hand sanitizer. Last but not least, this is from Toys R Us. It is just a pacifier clip. They had some really, really cute ones at Target, but on the back of the actual strap, it had like a spot where you write the baby's name on it and I just didn't really like that. I kind of wanted it to be patterned on both sides. So I picked this one up. It's gray and white chevron. I figured this would be super neutral and match all of her outfits. So this is the one that I went with. But that is it for this haul. I, like I said, this is just kind of crazy, random, all over the place. A little bit of essentials, a little bit of just fun stuff. So this is probably going to be the last haul before she's born which is crazy. I might have one more of just the last minute like postpartum essential type items and maybe some more clothes, maybe. But for the most part, we're pretty much done. All we're really buying from here on out is diapers and wipes and bottles, formula, if we need that kind of stuff. So this is pretty much the end of my hauls. I cannot believe that she is due in eight weeks. That is crazy. Um, anyway, 
let me know in a comment down below what other baby or mommy style of videos you guys would like to see and I can definitely do those. I want to do, like I said, a diaper bag review and a what's in my diaper bag. I'm also planning on doing a pregnancy essentials video here sometime in the future. So let me know if you would like to see those and give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed. Other than that, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.